last week we talked about that only bullishness is sil- in silver can be seen if it trades above 2000 levels and precisely it traded below 2020 dollar levels and in fact achieved a double bottom here you can clearly see it has achieved a bottom at around 1880 levels now what can be expected next week which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits do not commit this mistake do like share subscribe and comment and do watch till the end towards the end i will give you the trading strategy for next week remember do watch the daily analysis which i share very early in the day with the asia session for silver, definitely it will help in your day trading decisions. So do press the bell icon. Let's start the day with 4 hour charts first. And on the 4 hour charts, you can find the rally started precisely from this zone. And when it has achieved 2000 levels last to last week, I think first day of the week, then retracement, lower highs, and then a drop. See, it has come back to these levels at 1880 again. And yes, if you see it trading below this zone precisely at 1880 next week, you can go short. Rather, you can take a 5 points cushion and go short or sell below 1875 below 1875 certainly you can expect it to give a further drop and then the next zone i will look forward to is towards 1840 and 1850 1840 50 zone or 18.4 18.5 dollar zone is a definitely a very strong support for silver there if it breaks below 1840 certainly more bearishness can be expected now look at this see it has given a breakout after a little bit of consolidation here. This is the three breakout candles at the same time getting the support here at around 1880. It is trying to reverse from here. Be cautious. It can show you still a little retracement. How far it can retrace? I will expect even if it tries to retrace the resistance at around 1940-50 is going to be strong. We talked about these numbers multiple times. 1920 and 1940 and 1950 these three numbers are going to be the key player for silver next week if this breaks past this zone then only can be considered at bullish else it may try to trade with a drop now let's have a look at the daily chart see on the daily charts too it has completed the journey till here now the next leg of journey is about to start and see once it has seen lower highs possibly if it tries to bounce back and trades above 1950 then only can be considered as little bullish else once it draws below 1875 you can expect 1850 1840 levels at the next target and below that again 1800 levels will be seen this is going to be the next support level it might complete the journey till here and then we will see how it behaves at 1800 trading below 1800 certainly it will call for further drop now look at this on the daily charts see first thing is the where is the bottom there so right now on these charts appear 16 50 16 20 levels are going to be the bottom if it continues to trade in this channel and this is a bearish channel which is downward with a downward trend also remember see how it is behaved here a sharp drop consolidation sharp drop retracement consolidation drop there lower lows are done then retracement lower high then now it is trying to reverse again so whether it can continue on the downside and achieve 1700 1650 levels that we need to look forward to but yes if it breaks below 1875 zone we can certainly expect 1850 40 as the first target and then 1800 as the next target below 1800 it is going to give you a very strong drop till towards 1770 1720 1700 levels now let's have a look at the weekly charts out there on the weekly charts yes this has made lower highs but look at the previous week's low it failed to the slope here it suddenly changed and the bearishness has diminished this indicated that there is a possible support on the downside now definitely the support there is on the 2000 or 20 dollar levels it is trying to reverse and it can give you a symmetrical candle see lower highs lower low see this is the first red candle after this retracement Possibly you can get a symmetrical candle which might take it in fact below 1800 levels the possibility exists and then in fact you can expect 1770, 1750 and then 1720 levels also. In fact below that you can see a further drop but right now it appears that it is trying to trade within this and probability exists that we may see 1800 symmetrical candles just like this we can see 1800 here and from there in fact it can try to breach but close at around 1800 or 18 dollar levels is expected 
next month or next to next week we will see how it behaves a bounce back from there can be considered as a reversal now look at the monthly candle on the monthly charts see one consolidation or you can say it a candle of indecision at the same time achieving see many of you had talked about that whether we are looking at 2100 or 21 dollar levels here and yes should be considered a morning star and it can reverse from here i told you very strikingly very confidently that till the time it trades below 2100 should not be considered as a morning star and should not be considered for reversal precisely it has achieved these levels and seen a drop now see it for the month it is seen lower highs it is seen lower lows yes at the same time now it is trying to trade with a drop it has formed the wick out there now see the tail is very small here and if it drops it can give you a very strong drop because the candle has to turn in red and it has to give you a little red body possibility exists that we may see a sharp drop in silver where you can expect 1850 1800 definitely to get achieved there is a support here at 1800 and below that if it drops we may see it dropping till towards 1700 or 17 dollar levels these are markets anything is possible two sharp red candles and the targets are achieved hence you have to be very cautious with the longs or with the buy position at least till it is below 19 20 levels you should not take a buy position yes it can be considered for little bullish move if it try to trade above 19 20 or 19.2 dollar levels so this is what we can see on the monthly chart this remember this is the last trading week for the month only five trading sessions are the left either it has to give you a very very strong couple of red candles which has to bring it further down for in order to make this candle into red and hence be you know trade with caution now let's have a look at the indicators there what does the indicator suggest on the indicators front to 1920 and 1900 1940 these three levels are definitely a stronger resistance for silver now it has to surpass beyond 1940 zone for it to sustain the bullish momentum else it may continue to drop from there any retracement above 1900 might take it till towards 1920 40 levels and from there a drop can be expected any point of time if you see it trading below 18 80 rather i will say 1875 you can go short there and this time it may try to achieve 1850 and then below that lower levels towards 1840 and 1800 are possible directional movement is extremely bearish stochastic is oversold on the 4 hour charts the macd is extremely divergent and bearish uh, implicates or implies that possibly we may see a little bounce back before it looks over to a drop it may diminish the height here and then it will resume the drop rsi is trading near to bottom and if you look at the daily charts here on the daily chart see it is trading below the 20 and 50 period moving average and 100 period moving average which is situated at around now 20 dollars 19.4 and then 18 or 19 dollars 18.8 19 dollars this is the indication of bearishness here where silver is now trading below the 20 50 and 100 period moving average so yes till the time it sustains below 19 dollars possibility of it to continue with the bearish momentum exists definitely 1880 is a good support and below that you can certainly expect it to draw for 1850 1840 and then 1820 1800 levels directional movement on the daily chart has crossed over for bearish momentum it is diverging indicating more bearishness stochastic looking downwards indicating bearishness in the coming days the macd is willing to cross over and enter into sell position and hence probably first two days itself we may see a sharp red candle in silver and then it can uh, as achieve the level below 1800 1780 and then a bounce back can be expected followed with a drop later the rsi is looking downwards indicating bearishness and if you look at the weekly charts out there on the weekly charts the resistance there 2100 is strong the 20 period 20 weeks average is standing strong there and on the upside the 50 and 100 period moving average is far away at 22 and 24 dollars the bottom of the bollinger bands are at around 1800 1780 levels which may give it a support the bearishness is keeping parallel indicating it is not diminished yet and stock has to get seen a bounce back possibly a reversal from here can be expected and a sharp red candle can be expected the macd is on the verge of a crossover on the weekly charts let's see if it crosses over from here it tries to diverge again 
RSI looking downwards indicating little bearishness and if you look at the monthly candle the 50 months moving average at $20, 2200, 2400, 2500 or 20 to 25 dollar this is the zone in which it is trying to trade very strong resistance the directional movement is bearish here the stock stick is trading oversold hence this month i think it may try to remain in this oversold zone and probably a later bounce back can be expected towards next month the MACD has seen the high there on the bearish side it is diverging possibly it can start to converge from next month onwards but this month the candle might remain here in a narrow trading zone and close at around $18 levels. RSI is flat trying to look upwards. Now we have seen the charts and indicators. Now let, let me give you the trading levels and strategy for next. So next week first thing is when you see silver trading above 19.01 or uh, let me talk in terms of cents 19.01 levels. You can buy there expect 19.11, 19.11. 20 level these are going to be this is a going to be a good strong resistance at 1920 and if it sustains and if it sustains 1920 you can certainly expect it to hit 1940 levels very strong resistance at 1940 and 1950 these levels you should watch out for only and only if silver trades above this zone you can consider that it is trying to give you a reversal there beyond that we can expect 1980 2000 levels and beyond 2000 we may see it flying high for 2050 levels be cautious i don't think so that it is going to go past 1940 1950 60 zone possibly there is going to be a stronger resistance there be careful there on the upside on the downside if you see it trading below 1875 sell there the next target is 1850 and 1840 you have to be alert of these two levels 1850 1840 if it draws below 1840 it will call for a further drop then certainly i will be looking forward to 1818 1800 and then 1780 levels dropping below 1780 will call for another good drop till towards 1760 1750 levels the support there at 1750 is strong be there, be cautious on the downside if it breaks below 1840 1850 the next support zone which is lying here at 1780 800 1800 it can achieve this zone and bounce back we have seen multiple candles getting reversed from these levels so trade accordingly and yes if you want to learn this art of identifying right trades at right time taking right entries and making a profitable trade you can join my mentorship best the strategies involved will definitely help you become profitable trader it is a 15 days live webinar session and a lifetime support is available for you all so hence take this mentorship session and definitely it will help you become a profitable and proficient trader reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description you can be part of my vip signals group on telegram reach out to me for more details also at least you can support the effort by contributing and by becoming a patron also remember becoming a patron you can send me direct one-to-one -one emails and it will be answered there if you have any queries yes this is not going to be a frequent or trading signals uh, queries but yes infrequent but positional trades you can discuss with me by contributing in patreon so become a patron the link is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you